Hey guys. Um, this week in math, we are going to be learning about two dimensional shapes. So each of the videos this week will teach you about a different shape. I wanted to talk a little bit before we started um, our first shape. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what two dimensional shapes are. Okay. Right? So two dimensional shapes are flat. Okay. Right? And they have height and width. Height is how tall something is and width is how wide. Okay, those are the two dimensions. Okay, just like my book. Okay, it has height, it goes up and down, and it has width, which is side to side. It's how wide it is across. Okay, that is a, this would be a rectangular shape. Okay, the cover of this book. Right? Height and width. So how tall something is and how wide something is. The first shape that we're going to talk about is a circle. And one thing that we're going to talk about when we talk about circles is that they have a curved line. Okay, a lot of shapes that we make have straight lines, but a circle is different because it's a curved line. If you can remember back to when we first started writing, um, we were talking about curved lines. Okay. So a curved line, okay, curved. So let me, show you a couple of things. So, Right, so circles, let me get me out of the way. All right, so here I have a couple different size circles and um, different colored circles. Okay, it says circles are round and curved. And when you talk about a circle, you want to remember that they are round and they are curved. It's a curved line. Okay, they don't have corners. A word that you're going to hear this week is vertice. Okay, a vertice is, a vertex is a corner, and a vertice is all of them. If I have a shape, like a square, okay, right here, that point, that corner is a vertex. If I talk about all of them, the four corners or four vertices, okay, and circles do not have any corners or any vertices. Okay, and they also don't have straight lines. So circles are round and curved. Go ahead and say it. Circles are round and curved. Good job. They are also flat. Okay, they're a flat shape. I'm going to show you this circle that I have. Okay, it is flat. Okay, they have a curved line. You can see this worm here and he's going along the curve if you'd like to go ahead and put your finger on that worm and i want you to trace around the curve of the circle trace around the curve of the circle you'll notice that you don't stop right you just keep on going you can keep going around and around that shape okay <clears throat> if we do stop at the top it is a, also a closed shape, okay? There's no opening. When I draw a circle, I have to make sure that it is closed, okay? That is not a circle. That is not a circle. Do you see this opening here? Not a circle, okay? Closed. So when I draw a circle, I have to make sure I close it. Okay, just like this here. Okay. They can be any size. They can be large, medium, small. When I think of large, I was trying to think of the sun. I could think of um, wheels that I see out on big trucks, right? That um, shape of it is a circle on the face of a clock, right? You might have a clock in your house. Right, that's a circle. A plate 
is a circle. The top of a cup is the shape of a circle, okay? And lollipops, okay? So any size, they can be large, medium, or small. They can also be any color, okay? We can find objects all around us that are shaped like circles, okay? And I just put a few examples. I put buttons and coins, right? Pennies and quarters, a donut, right? The top of that donut is round, a ring. The shape of a whole pizza is a circle. But what about one slice of pizza? Who knows what, sh what shape that one slice of pizza is? You said triangle, you're right, okay? So that is a triangle, but the whole pizza is a circle shape. Can you look around you and see if there's anything in the room you're in and see if you see a, um, something that is shaped like a circle? Go ahead and take a look around. All right, let's look at this picture. How many circles can we find in this picture? I want you to go ahead and take a second to count those circles. Right, and then we'll see on the next slide if you guys got all of them. So go ahead and count those circles. If you need more time, you can pause the video. All right, let's count those circles together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This picture had seven circles. Okay, this page is also um, in the printables pages um, for circles. Now remember, when you're talking about circles, they're two-dimensional, okay? Remember, two-dimensional is height, how tall something is and how wide it is, okay? Two dimensions, okay? It's a two-dimensional shape. It's a closed shape. It has a curved line and it's round, right? And it has no vertices or corners, right? It's a curved line, it's round, and it's closed. So two-dimensional, closed, curved line, round, and no vertices, all right? Nice job. You guys can do an activity, if you would like, take different objects around your house and trace those circles onto a piece of paper. If I was going to, um, to do that, I could take the circle that I have, because it is a circle, okay, and take my pen, and I'm just gonna trace it on my board. So I'll show you. I see something else here, a circle. Two. One. Okay. And then I have this. I don't even know what it is. But it's also the shape of a circle. So I'm going to put that on my board. And I'm going to go ahead and trace it. Okay. And remember to close those circles up. All right. So there are traces. And then if you want to have fun with it, you can color it and make it a nice, pretty picture. All right, I hope you guys have fun with that. Remember, circles, curved line, closed. Okay, two-dimensional. And they're round. All right, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.